Hey there, Morgan here from Crafting a Lovely Life, and today I'm gonna show you how to etch glass using your Cricut. This was such an easy project, and I love how this Halloween mug turned out. The Halloween mug design I'm using today is available for free on my website, and I will link that in the description below. Be sure to download it so you can make a Halloween mug too. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is measure all the way around our mug, as well as the height of the mug. We want to make sure we get the design sized correctly for the mug we are using. For this mug, the max I want to do for the height is 2.8 inches. Now in Cricut Design Space, we can create a new project and then upload the Halloween mug design. I already have it uploaded, but if you need help with this part, I will link a video below showing you how to upload designs to Design Space. Next, I'm going to adjust the size of the design to fit my mug. Then we need to select the entire design and click attach. This will keep all of the design elements together when they are cut. Now we can click make it and continue to select our material type. So I will browse all materials and search for stencil. Then select stencil vinyl and click done. Next we can place the vinyl on the standard grip mat with the colored side up. I also like to use the brayer tool to make sure the material is stuck down really well. Then we are ready to load the mat and start cutting. When the machine is done cutting, you can unload the mat and remove the vinyl. Next, we are going to weed the vinyl. Because we are going to etch the design onto the glass, we need to weed only the parts of the design where we want the etching to show up. So we will use a weeding tool to get all of the smaller pieces removed from the design. Be careful when you are weeding the ghosts and the boo letters because the eyes and the inside parts of the letters can very easily be pulled up. If some of the design does come up, just carefully place it back down on the stencil's paper backing. Now we are going to take a piece of standard grip transfer tape that is the size of the entire stencil and place it on top of the stencil. You will see that I did a pretty bad job of getting the transfer tape on without creases, which made the application of the vinyl much more difficult later. So do your best to lay the transfer tape on the design without creases. Then use a scraper tool on the front and back of the transfer tape and vinyl to get everything stuck to the transfer tape really well. Next, we will peel up the transfer tape with the stencil on it. Make sure to do this step slowly so you can make sure that all of the smaller pieces get picked up by the transfer tape too. Before we stick the stencil onto the glass, we will need to clean it with alcohol and a lint-free cloth. Once that is dry, we can place the stencil on the mug. Then we will use a scraper tool again to make sure the vinyl sticks to the cup. Now we can carefully peel up the transfer tape, making sure that all of the design elements stay on the cup. After the vinyl is placed on the cup, I then like to go around all of the edges of the areas that will be etched just to double check that they are pressed down really well. Otherwise, the etching cream can get under the stencil and your design will not look as clean. Because I applied my transfer tape so poorly earlier, this step was much more difficult due to creases in the vinyl. And I did end up with a couple of stars and letters where the etching cream got under the stencil. Luckily, it's a Halloween mug, so it just made those areas look a little more creepy, which is just fine. Now we are ready to apply the etching cream. You want to make sure you wear gloves during this part. You absolutely do not want to get any of the etching cream on your skin as it can leave permanent damage. I also wore a mask and had a window open with a fan going just to be extra cautious. Just please be very careful when you are using this product. When you're applying the etching cream, you want to make sure to kind of glob it on instead of painting it on. Don't worry about all of the excess cream that you're using. We will scrape it off later and put it back in the bottle. Once you have the etching cream applied everywhere, you will need to leave it sitting for 15 minutes. The etching cream instructions say five minutes, but I have found that 15 minutes does a much better job at getting the design darker. 
When the 15 minutes are up, we are going to use the paintbrush to wipe up the excess etching cream and put it back into the bottle for a future project. Make sure you keep your gloves on for all of this. Then you can wash off the remaining etching cream with soap and water in the sink. Once all of the etching cream has been washed off, you are ready to remove the stencil vinyl and reveal your new etched mug. I absolutely love how this mug turned out and I can't wait to use it this Halloween. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and get a chance to make your own etched Halloween mug this year. Don't forget to grab this design on my website listed below and be sure to subscribe so you can follow along each week as I share new crafty projects. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!